Hi, uh, Warrior. It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elsent the Worgen Hunter. Today we are back in the slave pens, guys. I signed up for, well, I queued up for uh, a random dungeon. This is what we got. Doing this kind of late at night. And the, that's why I queued up for a random dungeon, just sort of for a quicker queue. And the, the reason why is because uh, I've been moving my uh, my uncle who recently passed away. I think I mentioned that in a few videos ago. And we have been uh, helping move uh, his stuff out of his, of his apartment. And man, he had a lot of stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of been a headache. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't got like got my camp back and all that stuff. I've just been kind of taking it easy, dealing with some family stuff. But yeah, one thing I will say is when when I get uh, get older, or even now, like I'm going to start becoming a minimalist because like 80% of the stuff you just, you know, donate or, or throw out. And then there's like 20% of the stuff is like, it's pretty damn cool. He, he had some cool stuff. Um, he had some old guitars, a big Marshall amp, pretty nice amp for those guitars. He, he was really into stereo equipment, tons of, of, uh, tons of like old stuff, like cassette players and. You know what I mean? Uh, VH, VHS players, tons of VHS tapes, which are which is pretty cool. Old school movies, CDs, cocky cards from the 1990s with packs that weren't even opened. Um, baseball cards as well. A lot of cool stuff. So it was cool going through all that. I didn't really know all that about them. But it's, it's kind of sad at the same time. What is sad? And uh, the place where, 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 he, where he was at, kind of giving him a tough time, or giving us a tough time with moving the stuff. They're not really allowing us to use their uh, garbage bin to like throw garbage into. And they say there's like there's like a sign there that says no illegal dumping. The thing is, we're like throwing black garbage bags in, right? We, we were going to, and uh, they said that's that's not allowed, even though like we're paying rent there for, for the next month or so. So yeah, man. It, it, and the funny thing is, is like, it's not the person that's that's there like the person that's managing the, the, the building is doing this it's the co company that she's working for it's a real estate investment company and man they really uh they're really tight on the margins man she told us like the guy who previously owned it would have gave us a bin but a bottom and got us a bin to like get rid of the stuff you know at least like help help, help us out but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get like a truck and go to a dump and all this stuff. I know a lot of people probably just leave the stuff they don't want there and just let the the, the people deal with it. I assume that happens quite a bit. It work. Must go. But uh, my family's not like that. We're gonna try to do it the right way and leave on good terms, even though we're getting treated like crap. <laughs> But yeah, that's enough ranting about that stuff. It is what it is. Not a fan of real estate investment companies, though. So. Not at all. I think they... I, I honestly think it's kind of... Uh, it's not a good thing, man. And I, I don't even want to know what it's going to be like in 100 years or even 50 years from now. 
when they start gobbling up all of this, like, all of these like bu like buildings and land. Kind of a worrisome thing. I think it needs to be uh, regulated a little bit. To be honest. But yeah, we got the the vest of living lightning. It's a male chest from uh, the last boss we fought. Male stamina intellect spirit gear. Not for us. But yeah, so, some, the, I'm really excited for what Blizzard's doing with uh, or and Microsoft. Uh, they're, they're like indie company. I, I think I mentioned this a couple of videos ago. And I thought of a, another game that they could kind of uh, steal like an idea from, which is Helldivers. And could you imagine they made like a StarCraft, you know, uh, universe-based game that's that's like like Helldivers? I think that would be amazing. I'm a big uh, StarCraft fanboy. It was the first Blizzard game I ever played. So I think that would be awesome. So I, I hope we, we see something like that in the future. So many different like games they could make with uh you know the the blizzard universe characters like you imagine fighting swarms of zerg as like a marine that would be awesome or like fighting Ze like protoss against protoss zealots It'd be a lot of fun but i i don't know how well it would do right like starcraft's kind of a it's a popular game people like it but it's not like it's not as big as like World of Warcraft or all these other AAA titles, I guess you could call them. But that's what that that uh, that new you know team's all about is just making AA titles and just seeing taking a risk and seeing if it works because they've been doing well. You know, Pal World did amazing. Hell Divers did really well. And they seem to be getting, being able to compete with the AAA titles nowadays. So like Blizzard's now gone from like a, a company that you know releases a game every every five years, or, you know, or, or a new version of a game every like three to five years, to a company that's probably going to release a bunch of games per year now. So I'm excited to see what happens with that. Go Rockmar the Crackler. We're flying through this dungeon. You didn't check the jump here. I'll check it one of these times we get the slave fence. And after this, we're going to hop into uh, Zanker Marsh for do a little bit of questing and probably queue up for another dungeon. Coil Fang Hammer of Renewal dropped. 22 stamina, 12 spirit, 55 damage per second, and 70 spell power. And then some male shoulders dropped. I wonder if they're better than ours. They are. 433 armor, 17 agi, 26 stamina, and 17 critical strike rating. So we'll put those bad boys on. Damn, our bags are getting full. We're going to have to sell some junk when we... Uh, Get back to town. Should drop the trap here. Is the tank gonna die? That's not. Go 
Close call, though. He was like a sliver of health. Like, a, yeah, he's at a sliver of health there. Thought you got feared. He was running to a flower. I didn't update my uh, to my add-ons. Forgot about that. That's why I like it. It's not showing me doing any damage. <laughs> I don't know why that bugs me so much. It makes me feel like I'm not doing anything. Even though I am. I'm doing a little bit, I think. And it's funny because I was showing up on the meter a little bit there. I think maybe when I use like explosive trap, it like bugs out. Who knows? You can do a pretty big pull here. No. Now I'm gonna think there was a good pull. Pulled pull the mobs out of the explosive crap. Somebody leveled up. I think that was the paladin at the 63. I'll try to get into Underbog next episode, guys. We could try to do it this episode. I'll queue for it after this. We'll see if we can get lucky and like maybe see, get into it. Maybe these guys will do another dungeon. We can run a run, get lucky and get into an underbuck. As long as we have everybody above 63, we should be okay. It's like we have a few 62s. Here we go, boss time. go. The spore soaked. The near dropped. 128 armor, 28 stamina, 16 intellect, and 11 crit strike rating. Alright, not for us. I wonder if I could try to get us to queue. No, I can't. Has to be the lead. But yeah, that was it. Clean run. It was really good. Oh, cool. This guy's going to queue again. Let's do it. Down to run another one. I think he just needs to, to turn in the quest. I think, can we skin these? And there we go. Good old healer tank use. I think the healer might be trying to turn in some quests here. Looks like we got Blood Furnace again. Not bad. Pretty good dungeon. It's probably going to be a pretty big pull here. There we go. We're showing up on the meters now. I think it like bugs out sometimes.
let's use uh, an aspect of a pack. Oh, nice. The rogue found uh, the other rogue. Or he found us. pull here. Dark Crest Gauntlets of the Sorcerer. Leveling up pretty quick. Already halfway to 64. And there's the mines right there. Great to have rogues for that to just disarm them. Perhaps I can find a use for a lot of BOEs. Leather boots? No, not, not too good for us. Stay away from And the diamond core sledge maze dropped off of the maker. Twenty five stamina, twelve spirits, sixty four fell power mace. to intellect 15 crits. Seems like every dungeon's like that in Cataclysm. The tanks are, are a little too strong, I think. That's the that's the problem with this, with I guess uh, Cataclysm leveling dungeons. I haven't checked out the end game in a while. I wonder if they have any like gamma beta dungeons going on now. Because I think Firelands should be out soon, right? The Firelands patch. Cataclysm's been out for I think just over a few months, right? Time flies. Remember, just case like it just came out yesterday. Yeah, 
But yeah, Cataclysm is going to be fast, guys. I think we're going to see Mr. Pandaria come out pretty damn quick. There isn't too many more raiding tiers left. Like, after Firelands, I think you could, we go right into Dragon Soul, right? Thirty-two intellect cost shoulders. They're really nice when you get like an item that's just like all agility, or like all intellect, and like these items always suck. I don't know. Spirit sometimes is pretty good. It's good in classic because you get uh, health regen from it. It's good in like vanilla. If you're like a warrior. Like, health regen outside of combat helps quite a bit. So you don't have to eat as much when you're, like, leveling up as a warrior. Legion Blunderbuss gun. Yeah, we have this gun. Pretty good gun. That dropped off the last boss. And we won it, so we have two now. We'll take it. Looks like the rogues doing some pulling over there. Tanking pretty damn well. like the Ravager. Looks pretty cool. Oh, here we go, boss time. Ignorant whelps! Here's last. dropped. Mindfire Wasteband. 136 armor, 23 stamina, 18 intellect, and 8 spirit. 11 critical strike. Not too bad. Alright, so it looks like they're going to run another one. That sounds good. I'm down. I'll leave the... Actually, no, I, I want to teleport out of the dungeon. So I'm getting too much. I think I have, like, a lot of junk on me. We can't while we're in combat. Yeah, we're full. Our bags are full. Let's just try to sell as much stuff as we can. Some the vendors just over here. We can sell just anything here. What did I sell there? We didn't sell anything we we needed. That should be a good. Sell a few more things.
Our gold's going up quite a bit. We're almost back to where we were before we uh, spent a bunch of money on flying. Starting to get a lot of uh, nether weave. Should probably uh, turn that into some more bandages. We got some rune cloth. We might as well just start making a bunch of this. That'll free up a little bit of space. Looks like we have a DPS that like forgets to queue <laughs> every time we try to get in. It's probably been waiting like 30 minutes. Just to get into a queue, and then he's just like AFK. Looks like the tank and the healer are AFK now. All right, looks like we're back in the we're in the underbog. Nice, we got in the underbog, guys. Awesome. Let's pick up all of these quests. Stalk the stalker. Bring me a shrubbery. Oh, yeah, man. Rescuing the expedition and a necessary evil. Go in peace. Nice. I'm happy we got the underbox today, guys. How lucky that we're in a cool group like this. I always feel so energy starved as a hunter, man. Like, we can barely use a lot of our abilities. Seems like once I use explosive shot, I like, can't really use much else. I really have to get a nice explosive trap down if I want to do a decent damage. So then we proc a couple free explosive shots. Our damage really isn't showing, though. I'm going to try to get that fixed next episode. Hopefully I remember. I'll just update everything after this so I don't forget. Yeah, we probably will get uh, 64 after this, guys. Which is pretty awesome. Like, a, a level in three dungeons. These dungeons go pretty damn fast. Like, under an hour, you get a level. Make sure we do a little bit of skinning here. some screenshots. There we go. Hopefully they get at least one without the XP numbers. Just thought it looked kind of cool here. There we go. Make sure 
sure we loot everything. So we just took down Hungarfin and the Needle Shrike dropped. It's a throwing weapon with 11 hit rating and 24 attack power. Pretty good for the rogue, I guess. Let's check out these quests here just so we. There we go. We got the Hungarfin one down. So that's one completed. We need two more Sanguine Hibiscus. To find Earthbinder Rage and Windcaller Claw. I think I remember where they are. It's been a while. So we'll try to find them. So, the good thing is only one of us have to has to find them. And then Stalk the Stalker, that's uh, the last boss. Brain of the Black Stalker. Take him down. And get some hibiscus here. There we go. We just need one more. Let's try to catch up to everybody. Go. Now the quest complete. Now where the heck are these two NPCs? I remember where one is. I think it's at the end. I forget where the first one you see is. I hope we just run into him. Or somebody knows. Oh, there's a decent pull here. Rocks. We'll be able to drop it on the track soon. Seems like rogues do a lot of damage. But yeah, it seems like it's going to be another clean run. Not having many issues here. But you never know. Anything can happen. Yeah, I remember the... Okay. I remember where the other... Where they both are. They're at the end, pretty much. I think there's somebody who's also getting... They're getting, like, their mind corrupted. Kind of reminds me of a boss from, uh... Wailing Caverns. So they're both at the end, the, the two people we have to find. But the first one, actually, is the one people usually miss out on. Should we pull it? There we go. Let's see what we get before we get here.
Gonna merc blood on you. Come some more. They won't stop attacking me. is on. Let's see what dropped. The Luminous Pearl of Insight. 17 stamina, 21 intellect, improves critical strike rating by 11 neck piece. Skip this guy. This is where we gotta go. Yeah, he's up here. I hope my, my pet doesn't pull everything. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, yeah, Earthbinder Ridge. Farewell. Farewell. And the other one's just ahead. You people usually forget this guy. It's kind of out of the way. But it seems like the tank knew where he was going. And a bunch of skins in here too. Hope we get under bug more often. Great way to level up our skinning. Kind of waiting for him to do like a bigger pull drop our trap down. This rogue's an animal. He just like tanks. <laughs> the boss. Barely takes any damage. I think probably just pops evasion. Just evasion tanks. I heard they're like bringing shaman tank to retail. I think that'd be kind of cool. I wonder if they'll bring rogue tank too. Gloves dropped. Don't want those. An offhand with spirit on it. I will end this quickly. Oh, damn it. I wanted to shoot my trap Obey off. Of <laughs> Obey me. Them at Let me put my trap down instead. I think he might run into my trap, so that's good. I think Claw's like the... Yeah, he's not gonna... Yeah, he's the last one. Let's see what this is. Leather, stamina, intellect, spirit, chest. 
called the Tunic of the Night Watcher. Alright, off to the last boss we go. Hopefully we get some loot. We haven't got much loot today. Other than those shoulders. I haven't put them on yet. Yes. Yeah, they're right here. There we go. Happy I didn't sell them. Imagine I sold them and I was like spamming selling stuff. That would have sucked. I think somebody leveled up. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I leveled up there. Nice. Didn't notice. Looking at the loot. And we got the 64, guys. And we're going to get a bunch of XP from completing these quests, too. Let's uh, speed everybody up here. There is the Black Stalker. Let's drop our trap down there. Just stand still and shoot. That's how we do more damage. Gotta stand still. There we go, that's the Underbot. Robes of the Augurer. The Augurer. <laughs> Chest, cloth. Uh, yeah, cloth chest, 270 armor, 34 stamina, 24 and like 11 spirit. So much uh, caster gear today. But we got some shoulders, guys, so I'm happy about that. Let's go turn these quests in. Soon we'll all be together again, and I owe it all to you. We'll bring the Naga down before you know it. They don't stand a chance. Good luck, friend. Stalk the Stalker, you have returned. Does this mean that the Black Stalker is no more? The Black Stalker is dead. Normally, I would not revel in such butchery, but the pain that the Great Mother and her brood have put my people through over the centuries is unspeakable. You have my deepest thanks, pray upon me. Um, I'm probably not gonna, gonna, got a couple trinkets there. I'm gonna decline. I'm going to go through this quick so I don't hold these guys up. Alright, there we go. Well, that was an awesome group. I wish I could keep running with them. I honestly would, but it's getting a little late where I am. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode. I'm happy we got into the Underbog. I'll show you guys this trinket we got. Let's check out the satchel here. It's a neck piece. Hopefully it has Agi on it. Nope. It's got Stamina, Intellect, and Hit Rating. But yeah, the, the trinket we got here, it restores 200 mana. I think the other one restored, like, Stamina. So it's pretty much like a healing and a tanking trinket. It's called the Power Infused Mushroom. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, let's see if we got any new dungeons. Mana Tombs. We're going to try to get into Mana Tombs, guys. And that's down in Terracar Forest. Maybe we'll start questing in Terracar. I know we didn't do too much here in Zanger Marsh. But, um, yeah, maybe we'll head down to Terracar Forest. I really like that zone. Yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.